good evening. Debbie, how are you? Good evening, teacher. Fine, thank you. And you? I'm good. I'm good. Did you have a good day today? Yes, yes, I have. I have a good day. Okay. A what busy day. Oh, a busy day. What you do? Yeah. What did you well, do? Well, I, I was putting in order many information, okay. physical information, and in order for date and for years. So I was busy today. Oh, okay. And, and what do you do? Are you an accountant? No. No, I work in ANDA. Oh, oh, okay. You're the water uh, analyst, right? Uh-huh. Is that right? Yes. Uh, do you remember what's going to happen on the weekend? This weekend? Well, la last weekend, no. No, this coming weekend, uh, they're going to cut the water because they will be fixing the pumps. Do you remember? I really. Yeah. No, I don't remember. They I were, don't remember. They were on TV today. They were on TV. Really? Announcing that. Uh huh. Wow. Yeah. So wow. just uh, be careful. You have to take water. You have to take some water huh. to shower. Right? Really? Yeah. So be careful. Ernesto Molina. But is it, go ahead, go ahead, Debbie. No, is that I I just asking if is if it is in San Salvador or yeah. in other in country? Metropolitan area. In the uh, metropolitan. Area. I don't have problem with that because I live in San Miguel. Oh my god, okay. Are you you're in San Miguel right now? Yes. Oh, okay. okay. Yes, I'm here. Okay, great. Great. Okay, Wilbur, how are you? Fine, teacher, and you? I'm doing great. Okay. What do you do today? Um I work at uh, 5 p.m. and after that um, I went to the field to play basketball. Okay. Okay. All right. So you had a good day. Yes. Yes. All right. All right. Ernesto, did you make money today, Ernesto? <laughs> what? <laughs> like, like every day. <laughs> every day. Did you make a lot of money to come in December? <laughs> I have to eat a lot of pupusa over there. Oh yeah. What do you eat every day, for example? What do you eat for lunch today? In this state is a lot of food. Uh, Met Mexican food is like a Tex Mex food. It's oh, like yeah. a Mexican food. and Texas. Oh yeah, you're right. Delicious, delicious. I, yep. I, I remember I ate uh, Mexican food in, in Texas. It was really good. Really, really yeah. good. Yeah, so, and for dinner, what are you going to have for dinner? What do you have for dinner? Mm, today, a fish, fish fry. Fish? Okay. Oh, fried fish, fried fish. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. uh, what about you, Debbie? What are you gonna have for dinner, Debbie Gonzalez? Well, I, I did soup, vegetable soup. Soup, okay. Soup, soup, okay. I ate vegetable, vegetable soup. <laughs> okay, great. All right. Is that all? Is that all? Yeah, in a little bit. Uh, I don't know how you s how say in English, but it's plantain. Plantain, um, plantain. Fried. Uh, plantain, fried plantain. How do you say platano? Plantain. 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 
Yeah. Planted. Yeah. Okay. Tostado. Tostada de uh, plátano. Okay. Okay. Um, roasted, roasted plantain. Okay. okay. Roasted plas, plantain. Plantain. Okay. Dina, good evening. How are you? How are your teacher? I'm good. Did you have a good day today? Yes. What did you do? Um, um, did you go to work? Yes, it's a work. Okay. It's a work. Yeah, supermarket. Oh, you went to the supermarket? Okay, great, yes. great. Okay, so <laughs> did you finish section three, Dina? Yes, teacher. And A E section four is is now. Oh, okay, great. What about you, Wilbur? Did you finish uh, the midterm exam, Dina? The midterm exam? Did you finish it? Yes. Okay. Three. Okay, Wilbur. In section three. In no, section teacher, three. not yet. Uh, which one are you doing? Uh, sincerely, I, I don't start this midterm stamp, but I hope to uh, start uh, tomorrow. Yeah, but did you, uh, did you do section three? Yes, yes. Oh, okay. So you're this, missing yes, the exam. Yes. You're missing the exam. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Only the midterm. Okay. Ernesto, did you finish section two yesterday? Yes, I finished. And three? Yes, I'm finished with two. In the midterm? Yep. All right, all right. Way to go. Debbie, what about you? Did you finish uh, the midterm exam, Debbie? Debbie. Okay. So, so today, we're going to go back to, okay, yesterday we did, we did fill in the blanks, circle the word, okay, here we go. Oh, we did it yesterday, right? We did it. Hello, can you hear me? Can you hear me? We, 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 we did this yesterday. We did it. Yes. So uh, let's continue with the other one. Okay, fill in the correct time expression time oh we did it also we did it okay very simple very simple we did it do you understand this in on at when are you going to use let me see uh ernesto palacios when are you going to use uh for example on Is when it's a um, uh, the weekend on the weekend, uh huh. On the weekend, it's like uh, when when you know when you know it, the 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 exactly the day is on. I think so. Right. Okay. When you okay, uh, I think we should go back for a little bit to the. Uh, to the chat. Okay, for example, on when you use the days, right? 
when we use the days of the week, for example, on days, okay, on Monday, Monday, on Monday, on Saturday, for example, right? On the weekend, on the weekend, um, when you say an exact date, for example, um, for example, when you say I was born, I was born on, I was born on November 19th, November 19th, okay, when you use an exact date, you use on, all right, so when you use the days, when you say, for example, on weekdays, on weekdays, I work on weekdays from Monday to Friday. Okay. It says I work on weekdays from Monday to Friday. Okay. Uh, basically, that's it. When do you use in? Wilbur, when do you use in? Um, <clears throat> we use in. Mm -hmm. um, let me remember. Okay. In the morning. Okay, yes, yes. In the morning. There you go. In the morning. In the, after the afternoon. afternoon. In the afternoon. In the evening. In the evening. Okay, in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. In the summer. Okay, in the winter, in autumn, um, in fall, in fall, uh, in spring, in spring. Okay, with the seasons, you have to use in with the seasons. Okay, so basically, basically that's it, right? Basically, this is it. All right. This is when we use in, in the morning, in the evening, in the afternoon, in the summer, um, in the winter, in the fall, in the spring. When do you use at? When do you use at? When you use our. When you use, okay, the numbers, okay. At 10. The numbers in the hours. Uh -huh. Okay, at 10 o'clock. Okay, at 10 o'clock. At 10 o'clock. Uh, at night. Right. At night. Mm -hmm. Very good. At night. At um. That's basically it, right? Okay. At 10 o'clock. In a specific location too. For example, at home. At home. Exactly. At home. Okay. At um let's see at the beach at the beach or on the beach okay um basically say it again at new year at new year no a new year a, a new no a new year a new year no 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 it's in in, in new year uh, uh, no new years new years eve it's new years new years eve but it would have to be on new years eve on on because oh. it's one specific day 
when you use a specific day, you have to use on. On. Okay. On. Mm -hmm. On New Year's yeah. Eve. Oh, you can say at Christmas. At, at Christmas? Eve. At Christmas. At Christmas. Right? Okay. 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 So uh, let's go back to the exam. All right. And see. Okay. So this is very simple. Very simple. We did it yesterday. And we're going to do the last one. Let me see the last one. Read the email and check the answers. We're going to read the email and we're going to check the answer. Okay. Okay. Um, Wilbur, can you read it? Can you yes, teacher. It? Can you see it? Okay, go ahead. <clears throat> okay. Hi, Ernesto. In your email message, okay. you asked me. Give me one second. Okay, there we go. Uh huh. In your email message, you asked me, what do you do every day? Well, I am a student at the University of Michigan. I really like my classes. I study computer science and Chinese. I got I got to the school around eight in the morning on weekend. Around noon, I have lunch with some classmates. On Monday and Friday, I work out in the gym before my classes. And in the light in the late afternoon on Tuesday. And third day, my friend Daniel and I have part-time jobs. We work, we work in the school cafeteria. And I study in the library every weekend, weeknight until about 2, 2 a.m. Mm -hmm. I, am, I am a full-time student and I don't have time to watch TV. <laughs> okay. And and what do you do? Send me another email, please. Your new e friend, Chris. E, e friend. Okay. E friend. Now, Ernesto is Chris's what? Last mate, new friend, best friend. New friend. New friend. New friend. Chris is a what? Chris is what? Chris is what? He's a student? Oh. Full-time student. He's a full-time student. Who is Daniel? Who is Daniel? He's Chris' friends. Chris's friend. Chris's friend. <laughs> Okay, uh, on Tuesdays and Thursdays, Chris. Uh -huh. Works with Daniel. Works with Daniel. Daniel. We're done. Works with Daniel. Okay, very good. Very good. All right, so basically, um, uh, you're supposed to have finished, uh, or you will be taking this in the future okay uh, today i want to show you yesterday we were talking about the verb to be right we were talking about the verb to be and and do and does so today i want to show you i want to show you an exercise Okay, I want to show you an exercise. It's coming up. Thank you. Okay, it's coming up. It's coming up. 
I, I want to show you the difference between the verb to be and do and does. Okay, today you have to be clear on that. Because if you don't understand that, it's going to be very difficult for you to move on. It's coming up, people. Okay, so this is the second, uh, the second week. Next week is going to be the third one. We have to start maybe tomorrow or Thursday. We have to start section four, and then uh, you will be ready to move on. Okay move on to the final exam, to the fifth section. Here it is. Here it is. It's very simple, but but uh, I want you to understand this really well. Okay. There we go. Caliente, está caliente. Okay, here we go. Um, can you see it? Yes, yes. yes oh, okay, okay, great. So this is very simple. I wanna ask you this question and I need somebody to answer the question to me. What is the, what, what is the helping verb when you use the verb to be? The helping or the auxiliary, if you want to call it like that, the auxiliary verb in the present with the verb to be. What are the helping verbs? You know, the helping verb is the verb that helps you formulate a question, make an, a, a statement negative, Answer affirmatively mm -hmm. and negatively. So, for example, the verb to be, say, that do, that. Okay, no, but when we're using the verb to be. Uh, okay. Is, okay, one of the helping verbs is, is. Another one is are. And another one is am. Okay, the helping verbs mm -hmm. are. Helping verbs when you're using the verb to be are. M is are. M is are. Now, how do you use the helping verb is, are, or am? How do you use it to, to ask a question, for example? No veo muy bien. Okay. Okay, we're going to start in number four. Number four. Oh, my God. <coughs> number four. We're going to start in number four. Okay. Now, let me see. Mary is very happy. Mary is very happy. How do you change that into a question, Joanna? Are Mary happy? No, look at the verb. Look at the verb here. What is the verb? Very. No, is. No. Is. 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 The verb is is. Now, now, all you have to do to ask a question 
when you're using the verb to be is to move it. You have to move the verb to be and you have to say, is Mary very happy? Is Mary very happy? Yeah. Right? Okay. So, what is the helping verb that is helping is. you? Is very good. Is is the helping verb. I want you to keep this in mind. I want I want you to keep it in mind, okay? Now, Ernesto Molina, what is uh, the helping verb in number five? R. R. Can you can you give me a negative statement? Negative statement. Are 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 they ready? Ready? I know I know. See. Oh, okay. Wait, 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 wait. No, go ahead and do number seven. Number seven. Oh, okay, okay. Number seven. Uh, is the boy is is the boy small? Is the house big? Is the house big? Oh, oh, is the boy small? Very good. So, okay. what did you do? What did you do here? Ernesto Molina, you just moved the verb to be, right? Yeah, right, yeah. And, and this one is called the helping verb. This, you're going to use this to formulate a question. Okay. Okay. What about Debbie Gonzalez? Can you make it negative? The boy is small. Can you make it negative? The boy isn't small. Okay, okay. so the verb to be plus not is the yes. one you used to you, you use to make negative statement negative statements okay what about uh, wilbur what about let me see question negative all right uh if i ask you is the boy small what do you do to answer wilbur the answer is the boy small the answer, what is the answer? Yes or no, right? Okay. Yes? Yes, he is. He is. See, you're using the verb to be to answer, okay? So, oh. so, so the verb to be is the helping verb. It, this is very simple, but you have to understand it. Okay. Now, uh, David, they are, uh, they are students here. How do, you, how do you ask a question there? Uh, are they students here? Are they students here? Very good. So, <clears throat> the auxiliary, the auxiliary here is are, okay? Now, Mr. Brown is very okay. busy now. Mr. Brown is very busy now. Ernesto, ask a question over here. Is Mr. Brown busy now? Busy now. Uh, you can answer, yes, he is, no, he isn't, and so on, okay? What about number 10? What about number 10? Uh, uh, let me see who else is here. Let's see who else. There you go. David. David. Uh, yes. David, ask a question over here. Mrs. Mr. and Mrs. Smith are here. Are... Mr. and Mrs. Smith here? Very good, very good. You used R to ask a question, okay? So this is very simple. See, and here you have negative statements. She is ready, she is not ready. English is easy, English isn't easy. <laughs> They're tired, okay. they aren't tired, but my point, my point is this. Let me show you. Let me show you. Okay, so that is the verb to be. That is the verb to be. And let me show you do and does, okay? Show you do and does. Okay, give me examples. Give me examples. Um, let me see. Um, 
um, Ernesto Molina, give me an example with with an action verb. An action, an action verb. Uh, play, dance. Okay. Uh, you can say, I like to dance. Okay. I like to dance. All right. Okay. So, how do you, how do you ask a question when you say, for example, I like to dance? What is the question? Do you... Do okay. You, do you like to dance, right? Okay, so so here, what's happening is, I think we're gonna go to the uh, to the chat. We're gonna go to the chat. Okay, let's go to the chat. Here it is. Okay, so when you say I live on Cecilia's Street. I live on Cecilia Street. All right, here, here you have live. This is not the verb to be anymore, okay? When you're using the verb to be, you use the same verb to be to ask a question, to make it negative, to answer. But when you're using, when you're using uh, action verbs, like for example, I live on Cecilia Street. The question for that would be, do you live on Cecilia Street? Okay, do you live? See, remember when, you, when we were using the verb to be, we just moved it, but in this case, we are using live, which is different from the verb to be. Here, we have to use, we have to use do or does, okay? Do, does, don't, any of these, all right? Or doesn't, doesn't, we have to use any of these. These are the helping verbs when you're using action verbs, action verbs. Okay, here we go, here we go. All right, so the answer to this question is, do you live in Cicilina Street? Do you live on Cicilina Street? Yes, I do. Okay, yes I do, or no, I don't. Or no, I don't. Okay. Okay, for example, you can say she she likes she likes uh, spending time with her. She likes spending time with her family. All right. Okay. How do you? She likes she likes spending time with her family. She likes spending time with her family. How do you change that into a question? How do you change this into a question? Does she? Okay, good, good, good. Does she like? Spending time with family, her family, her family. Okay, so in this case, in this case, we need to use the auxiliary does because we are dealing with an action verb. Whenever we use an action verb, we have to we have to use the auxiliaries, okay? Does she okay. like spending time with her family? The answer is yes, she does. Yes, she does, or no? No, she doesn't. No, she doesn't. Okay, no, she doesn't. All right, do me a favor. Uh, 
give me an example using an action verb. David, give me an example using an action verb. Uh, the, the child uh, likes play video games. Okay, all right. This child likes playing video games. Yeah. All right, and, and what would be the question for that? Uh, does the child likes play video games? Does the child like play like play playing video games? Right. Okay, you're using does because you are using a verb which is an action verb. Okay, Joanna. Joanna, give me an example with the verb to be. Uh, an example with the verb to be. <laughs> give me an example with the verb to be. Give me an example with the verb to be, Joanna. Joanna? Yes. Uh, mm. With the verb to be. Is, am, she are. Is, she, she, she is. She is in breakfast in the morning. She, no. That is not no. the verb to be. That is not the verb to be. That's an action verb, right? Okay, give me an example with the verb to be. No entiendo eso yo. <laughs> okay. Uh, Ernesto, give me an example with the verb to be. Ernesto Palacio. Uh huh. Uh huh. She. She. She is beautiful. She is beautiful. Very good. Okay. Ask a question with that. Is she beautiful? Is she beautiful? Okay. Now give me an example with an action verb. Um, Mr. Palacio. Um, she. She. She is dancing. She. She likes to dance. She likes to dance. She likes to dance. You ask a question there. Um, does she like right, right, to dance? right, 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 right? Does she like to dance? Yes, she does. No, she doesn't. Wilbur, give me an example with the verb to be with with am with am. Um, I am ugly. <laughs> <laughs> I am ugly. Okay. I am ugly. Mm -hmm. okay. How do you how do you ask a question there? Am I ugly? Am I ugly? If you're asking Me? yourself, if you're asking yourself, you can say, "Am <laughs> I ugly? Am I ugly?" Or if somebody else is asking you, he's supposed to say what? Yes, are, I am. Are you? No, are you ugly? Oh, okay. Yes. yes. Are you ugly? Are you ugly? The answer, mm -hmm. yes, you are. No, you aren't, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Debbie, Debbie. Uh, can you hear me, Debbie? Yes, yes, I hear do, you. Do you do you understand do you understand the difference between the verb to be and do and does? Of course. I understand. Do you okay? Can you explain it to us? Well, um, the verb to be is only for adjectives. Right. And, nouns, and, nouns. And nouns, and when you want to say that you are in a place. In a place. Very good. Okay. And, you can use do, does, doesn't, and don't mm -hmm. when you are using verbs in actions. Action verbs. Okay. Action. Action. okay. Very good job. Very good. Give me an example uh, using an action verb. For, for example, um, 
Roberto reads books. Roberto reads books. And the question? Does Roberto read book? Okay. And the answers? And the answers? Uh, yes, he. Yes, he does. Or no, he doesn't. Okay, very good job. Good job. Great. Very good. All right. So this is this is the way you're supposed to understand. Um, let's see. I want to try and send you an exercise with. I'm going to try to send you an exercise with do and does to your cell phone. Okay. Uh, can you take your cell phones, please? Okay. Okay. Give me one second. All right, did you get it? Yes, yes. Oh, oh, okay, great. That's exercise. We're gonna be doing exercise number 20. Here, if you can notice, uh, we're using the verbs, the verbs, the action verbs like know, study, smoke, spend, and here you have the verb to be so that you can see the contrast. Okay, I am a doctor, he is very handsome, you are a good student, he does not have a pencil, it is very hot today. Okay, so here you will see the difference, okay? Okay, right now we're gonna do contractions. Okay, it says, number one, Number one, it says, I do not like coffee. And the contraction would be, I don't like coffee, right? All right, let me see. Uh, can you do number two? Uh, Joanna, can you do number two? He does not know the girl. Hello? Oh, David, can you do number two? He does not know the girl. I'm sorry, I don't know how my cell phone would be. Oh, 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 you don't have your cell phone. Okay. No. So, don't worry, don't worry. Okay. Dina, Dina, do you have your cell phone? Yes, teacher. Okay, do number two. Do the contraction. He doesn't not. No. She, okay. He, no. do, he doesn't know the girl. He doesn't know the girl. Okay. Okay. Ernesto Palacios, number three. They do not study very. They do not study hard. They don't study hard. They don't study hard. Okay. Uh, Debbie, number four. Doesn't smoke cigarettes. Okay, all right. Uh, Jose, Emolina, Emolina, number five. We number five. We we don't. We don't. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse mm -hmm. me. Excuse me. We don't spend. Excuse me, moment, please. Yeah, no other problem. No other moment, problem. Moment, moment, moment. Okay, number five. We don't spend much money. Okay, very good. Wilbur, what about number six? Mm, 
he's very handsome. He and 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 the, okay, right. The contraction would okay. be is. Yes. What about what about number seven? Uh, Joanna, do you have your cell phone? No, teacher. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, let me see. Dina, I want you to do number seven. I uh, doctor. Uh, uh huh. The contraction. Um. Uh. Here. I. I'm. A doctor. I'm a doctor. I'm a doctor. I'm a doctor. I'm a doctor. Okay. Debbie, number eight. You're a good student. You're a good student. Okay. Number nine. Day. Uh. Wilbur. He doesn't have a pencil. Right. Ernesto Palacios, 10. It isn't very hot today. Okay. It's it when it's, it is. Yes, it is. It, it's it very is. hot. It's very hot today. Okay. Number 11. Number 11. Um, Dina, number 11. Not tired now. He isn't tired now. Okay, E. Molina. Number 11. Number 12. Number 12. Uh-huh. Number uh -huh. 12. We don't work every day. We don't work every day. Number 13, Debbie. They, they aren't here now. Okay. Wilbur, 14. I am not a doctor. I'm not a doctor. Okay. Number 15, Ernesto. I don't like coffee very much. Okay, very good, very good. Now, here in exercise number 21, I want to find out if you know the difference between uh, do, does, aren't, isn't, and so on, okay? Or I'm not. All right. Number one, the book isn't on the table, isn't. Now, okay, how do you know when you're going to use do and does? How do you know when you are going to use do and does? Whenever you see an action verb, you're going to be using doesn't or don't, okay? Okay. All right, let me see. Ernesto Molina. Number two. Number two. Does does those, students those, those students those students don't student are not studied every hand? No, no, no. Very no, hard? No, 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 no. Now no. do you see do you see an action verb? Okay. Ah. Okay, okay, okay. That does those students uh -huh. do, don't study 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 very hard. Those students don't study very hard. Okay, whenever you see an action verb or whenever you're using an action verb, you have to mm. use don't or doesn't, right? D depending. Okay. The number three, Ernesto Palacios. Those men. Those men or the men? Oh, I'm sorry. The yeah. men, the men, the men, the men. The men is from South America. Is, is it singular or plural? It's okay. plural, right? Plural, yeah, mm. plural. The oh, men. when it's plural. Okay. Uh-huh. The men aren't from South America. South America. Very good job. The men aren't. Why did you use aren't, Ernesto? When it's a plural. Yeah, but 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 when we don't have an action uh, verb. A very very good. Very good job. Very good job. Okay. Number four. Number four. Debbie, number four. I am not ready yet. I'm not ready mm. yet. Okay. I'm not ready yet. Very good. Number five, Dina. Uh, that woman. That woman. That woman. Um, 
Doesn't from doesn't Europe. come from Europe. Very okay. good. Why, Dina? Why did you use doesn't? Uh, can. No, why? Why did you use does? Why did you use doesn't? What is the reason why you use doesn't? Because. Because. Uh huh. Because. You're using an action verb. Every time you use an action verb, you have to use. Okay. Don't or doesn't. Okay, Wilbur. Wilbur. The children. The people. Okay. The children um, aren't in the room. Very good. Very good job. Ernesto, Ernesto, those people. Those people uh, doesn't like coffee. Uh, people, people is plural. Plural, those, those people. Those people? Mm -hmm. Doesn't. No. Oh, it's don't. Yeah, sorry. Don't. People don't like coffee, yeah. Okay, good. Number eight, dinner. Number eight, dinner. Miss Smith. Uh, Miss Smith. Uh huh, Miss Smith. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. No. Uh, singular. Miss Smith. Miss Smith. Miss Smith. Miss Smith. Uh huh. Uh, aren't? No, it's no. singular. It's singular. Are? Isn't. Isn't. Perdón. Isn't. Mm -hmm. I stood her. Right. What about what about number nine? Gloria Cuellar, good evening. How you doing tonight? <laughs> Can you hear me? Hello, 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 hello. All right, no, she cannot hear me. All right. Okay, people, look. You have to try and finish the midterm exam and section three. Tomorrow, we're going to start checking, um, let me see which one. We're going to start checking section four and we're gonna finish it um, next week by Tuesday. By Tuesday, we have to be finishing section um, four. And then I'm going to start explaining section five. All right, when we finish section five, you're gonna be taking your final exam and then you will be promoted to pre-intermediate two. All right, okay. So guys, um, study. I want you to understand the difference between the verb to be and do and does. That's very important to do. Um, let me see. I am going to send you, uh, let me see, maybe, or maybe tomorrow we're going to take a little quiz and you're going to be answering multiple choice questions and uh, to find out if you know the difference between the verb to be and do and does. Okay? Okay, teacher. All right. When, when Ernesto Palacios comes in December, we're, we're going to get together to eat pupusas. Okay, Ernesto? It's a good idea. <laughs> hey, I know a place. I know a place in Merliot. I know a place in Merliot. We can go and they're one dollar each. One, each pupusa is one dollar, but it's delicious. It's you know big pupusa. Uh, you know what is the Very big. They're, they're yeah. big. They're big, but, you know, they're... You know what is the price for each one right here? Four dollars or five, right? <laughs> yeah. 
five dollars each pupusa. I ate pupusas in Washington D.C. Uh, they cost me about five dollars each. Yeah. But it's not what? Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Five dollars. Five dollars. Yes. Wow. And if you want to drink, if you want to drink, like for example, a beer, like a pilsner in the United States, like in Texas or in Washington. It's going to cost you about six dollars. Yes, yeah, see, yeah, yes. Right. Uh, or no, we don't have it, it right here. You don't. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> Some, so, go ahead, Ernesto. No, it's different. Uh, for example, the the normally right here the the beer is a dos x is is a Mexican beer is very good. Delicious. Oh, it's, it's very good. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, guys. I will see you tomorrow. Take it easy. Study. See you tomorrow. Okay. Uh, go ahead and finish the midterm exam. You can start section four if you want. All right. You have a good time, people. Bye bye. Bye bye. You have a good time. Bye bye. Take it good easy. Night, bye.